So what have you got here today then? This is uh, a demonstration that also relates to uh, magnetic domain theory, which you might use in your teaching. And um, in this case, particularly something called the Curie point, which is a specific temperature, uh, just like a boiling point, I suppose, a specific temperature beyond which ferromagnetic materials cannot retain their magnetism. So going back to domain theory, uh, you've got, uh, this is a piece of iron wire. Uh, it's fairly thick iron wire, it's 22 standard wire gauge. I see you've got some 50-year-old wire there by the looks of it. Yep, this was just uh, lounging at the back of a drawer and it was never really going to be any use to anyone. Goodness only knows what it was originally bought for. Very good. Um, but it, it works and the fact that it's a bit rusty doesn't really matter at all. Um, we've taken the length of it, about 30 centimetres or so. We've put one of our lead pendulum bobs on the end of it just to hold it straight and to pull it down. You'll see why that's relevant in a minute. And then clamp the top. I've got a couple of crocodile clips. Uh, connected to a power supply so that we can run a current through the wire. Yep. We've also got some strong neodymium magnets uh, just stuck to the side of the clamp stand. And at the moment, because this is iron wire, you can just push it against those magnets and a little bit of trial and error in the angles and the lengths and the positions of the crop clips and so on, and you can get it to hold it quite nicely. Now, of course, with domain theory, that says that when the wire's here, all of the domains here are jumbled, all random, and when you bring it close to a magnet, that magnet causes the domain, certainly in this region, to become temporarily aligned, which is why it becomes uh, attracted to the magnet. So it's just lining up the domains, and that means it just gets held down on those uh, Absolutely, small until something stronger pulls it away, or until the domains cannot maintain their alignment anymore. Now, a nice simple bit of science that most people shouldn't struggle with is the idea that uh, the hotter something is, the faster the particles are vibrating. Now, if you put together domain theory and alignment ideas together with the idea of temperature, um, it's not too much of a leap of the imagination to realise that there should come, come a temperature at which the particles are vibrating so fast that the domains, which are themselves made of the same atoms, cannot hold any consistent alignment anymore. So there should be a temperature at which a material which would normally be attracted to a magnet can no longer be attracted to a magnet. And every ferromagnetic material has this temperature. It's called a Curie point. Uh, not actually after Marie Curie for once. This was actually Pierre Curie. He did a lot of early work on magnetism uh, before he got, uh, got into uh, what became radioactivity. So if I switch on and crank up the current, you do need a fairly chunky power supply for this because the Curie point of iron is nearly 800 Celsius. So it's going to have to be glowing and so I'm just get it on that. hotter and hotter. Ah, oh, and there you go. Whilst it's glowing orange hot, slightly before it got to orange hot, it fell off. So, and we can try it again. Having switched off and let it cool down, of course, the domains can now realign. And then turn it up and let it heat up. There we go. And you can see that it is actually glowing orange hot. Definitely, yeah. And even if I try and put it back at this point, it's sort of attracted, but not really very much. Not as much as it was before by any stretch. No, no. Certainly the lead weight is easily enough to pull it down. Let it cool down a little bit. The current's still on, by the way. It's just not orange hot. And it's still trying still just about attracted but yeah. i don't need to heat it up much more before it'll just go away that's really nice i've never seen that before so it's a lovely way of bringing together really basic ideas about thermal energy vibrations um, in solids at different temperatures and uh, the idea of domain theory is another lovely bit of evidence in favor of domain theory